Now, of course, let's go to Qualcomm. I think a lot of people at Mobile World Congress actually said this, that Qualcomm owned it because of the 5G part of it. Literally anywhere and everywhere you went, either Qualcomm had its demos or other companies were announcing Qualcomm 5G phones. So literally it owned that space out there, which I think is a great thing. But at this present moment, what Sanjana is doing out there, no, 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 I'm really sorry to disappoint you. She's not dancing again. I wish it was true. But this time she's in an autonomous car. Well, yes, Rajiv, I am all ready to zoom off in an autonomous vehicle, if you please. Well, that's why I'm in the passenger seat. As you can see, there's no driver here next to me. But the fun doesn't stop at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. I am at the Qualcomm booth where they've got so many 5G demos out here. This is just one of them. This is to do with autonomous vehicles and AI and, you know, how it can actually detect a pedestrian crossing from miles away right before the car is going to enter. But this is just one of them. They've also got a lot of demos to do with phones. Of course, Qualcomm has got their Snapdragon 855 into phones now to actually show 5G speeds. So 5G is actually becoming a reality here. Let's take a look at some of these cool demos that Qualcomm has got right here. Autonomous cars, 5G connectivity for automobiles and 5G splashed around. Qualcomm left no stone unturned with 5G capabilities and new technologies that the company showcased at Mobile World Congress. On the automobile front, they had a mock-up of an autonomous car on display with high-speed AI detecting and predicting pedestrian behaviour and a display that used their new Snapdragon 8155 Gen 3 chip for all infotainment needs as well. But connected cars are really the future and Qualcomm also announced 4G and 5G connectivity through a new connected experience in the car. This is the Wi-Fi 6 chip which will help automotive manufacturers deliver in-vehicle and out-of-vehicle communication. High-speed video streaming, in-car internet access and hands-free calling are some of the other functions this will enable. But coming to 5G being more of a reality in our daily lives. Well, finally, a slew of 5G phones were launched at Mobile World Congress, but most of them had one thing in common, which was their enabler, the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset. This is the first 5G chipset for phones and comes with a 4G LTE connection and low latency. And this chipset is providing cloud and network providers to do a lot more as well. The fourth generation Qualcomm AI engine capabilities in this chipset was showcased at MWC. This was a demo of denoising a picture to give it more clarity. While this allows for images to be more sharp and the bokeh is adjustable even in the front camera, 3D pictures can now be made with a simple click and of course, Google Lens allows for all the text to be read with clarity. The AI picks out chunks of the text. All this is much faster and more precise. While the new 855 chipset sports an LTE modem, Qualcomm has gone a step ahead and launched the world's first 5G modem, the Snapdragon X55. This is a single-chip multi-mode solution which will allow for 5G multi-mode devices. This will theoretically be ready to support download speeds of up to a whopping 5 Gbps. This will also allow for high data speeds to function even in low network areas and it will drastically improve smartphone battery life as well. And while good speed in poor network areas is like music to our ears, here's a technology that will enable high data speeds and coverage for all, even in a very crowded place. Well, Qualcomm showcased its small cell platform at MWC, which forms an important component in LTE and 5G network planning and can help network operators to cost-effectively provide indoor and outdoor capacity, coverage and performance for users, even in the most crowded environments. But other than all the network and heavy-duty technology, Qualcomm also has a major role to play in wearables and they showcase their Snapdragon Wear 3100 meant just for wearables. And amongst all this high-tech 5G technology, the big question still remains. Are we in India going to see 5G soon? For India, um, and the government is, uh, of India is working through those spectrums, they'll have the auctions. I think the benefit for India is going to be, is, uh, like 4G, it took a few years to have that come to India. You're not going to have that delay. I actually think you're going to see India in 2020 with 5G. And that'll be important. Uh, with 5G, that'll put India in a very good position with its large base of very qualified engineers to start to develop new products and services based on 5G and that will allow them to really take advantage of what I would call Industry 4.0. Well, the road to 5G is still being paved in India, but Qualcomm seems all set to power most facets of it with a finger in every pie. 